Hi, my name is Terry Lee, and this is just a quick little uh, project that I was working on. The uh, finished product, we're not going to do these two, we're just going to do this little bit right here. The finished product is just this little book, and there's some writing pages in here, and you can decorate it. Um, every other page or every is a pocket. Okay, so they're pockets. Pocket, 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 pocket. There's a pocket here. And um, then, and this was with the kit uh, Bugs, I believe. Um, and I think it was Artie Mays. And I can't remember who this tutorial was. It might have been Carol Tinson. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, and so the cover is just half of a hanging file folder and the pages are just uh, kit pages you don't have to do anything with them but just take the white borders off so now I've already started it you can see here that here are some of the pages that I've already done there's some pockets now I forgot to ink this I was started this on a live stream and we were having so much trouble with the uh, live stream that um, that the you know everything wasn't quite working um, and here's a couple of writing pages that I put in these are and I don't know you might be able to see these because they're pink um, but these are some of my alcohol sprayed papers I don't know I'm probably just holding white paper up into your face anyway so I just thought um, I was finishing it up and I thought, well, why not make a quick video? No script, no PDF. Ah! Um, Terry's going to lose her mind kind of uh, tutorial. So um, the pages are just themselves. And I've cut some more writing pages out because I wanted to show you how to do the stapler when you um, have to open it up to staple. Oops. Open it up the right way open it up this way to staple because that's how we're going to do our writing pages let me move that out of the way since we're not going to do that part maybe I'll do a second part of this little impromptu deal here so all we're going to do to add pages to this project is just take white page to white page and we're going to want a pocket but I think I'm going to put the pocket on the top this time. So all we're going to do, you're going to love this. All we have to do is glue, waiting on the glue. All we have to do is glue around. Now I want the pocket on the top this time. So I'm going to glue everywhere but the top. Now we're not going to cover making tags or decorating this or anything. I'm just showing you how to put it together. And then after that, you are on your own. Let me make sure these are right side up. Okay. And then you just glue the white side to the white side. And you line it up. You can, um, you can trim it a little bit later if you need to. Now, at this point... I am going to add a few writing pages just to show you how to do it. It's a little bit easier when the book isn't quite this high. In fact, in fact, let me do this. I'm going to go ahead and add all three, but I'm going to fold this in half. Because that's all you're doing to the pages is just folding them in half. Okay. Let's get our original out of the way, too. I have a big stack of stuff over here that you can't see. Oh, and I have a big stack of stuff on this side, too. Anyway, so let's go ahead and fold these in half. As I'm trying to avoid having to lay this out open is what I'm trying to do. Okay, let's try to get them as even as we can. That's just making it worse. I did cut them together, so, but that might be pro the problem. Okay. All right. 
I say go for it. What do you say? We all say go for it. <laughs> Let's just go for it. Okay, and so what we're going to do is we're just going to staple these into here. And then we'll glue this on here. This is my new idea slash system. Okay, now when you staple it, this stapler is not going to reach. Now watch it reach. No, it does not reach. So you're going to have to open it up to staple it. But if you do that, then what are you going to staple it to? Accidentally staple it to these papers? Probably. What you do is you bring in a piece of foam. This is just packing from, a, from some sort of thing I got. You're going to want to turn, make sure that your paper's lined up with the crease in your kit paper. Okay, make sure it's all lined up. Turn it inside out. Open your stapler up. Lay it down right where the crease is. Staple and you'll feel it go right into the foam. See, I've now basically stapled it to the foam. And then you do it again. And now, ta-da, you have a foam book. No, like a phone book. You have a foam book instead. You carefully pull it off and you flip it over. And there are your little prongs. And I promise you it's much easier to do it with your finger than your fingernail. So we're just going to push these down. And now we're going to glue this to that. And I had two more, but I think we'll call it a booklet. I just wanted to show you how. Now this time we're going to make the pocket on the side. So we're going to glue these three sides. Oh, I actually broke my iron out, believe it or not, because I have some cheesecloth that we're going to use. And I thought, you know, I heard people say that you get a lot more out of your cheesecloth if, if it isn't wrinkled up into a big bunch. So I thought, all right, I'm going to iron the cheesecloth. <laughs> so I did, and you know what? I had a lot more of that cheesecloth than I thought I did. <laughs> so you're going to want to line it all up with the rest. Okay, now you've got your cover and you're thinking, hey, those are white pages. <laughs> and they are. So I'm going to fold this in half. This is a really old grungy one. I need to get some new ones. So we'll see if it's going to fold and cooperate and all that good stuff. Okay. All right, let's watch Terry fold paper. It's not folding very good, is it? Lumpy and bumpy. This is what I call forcing the fold. <laughs> okay, so now what we're gonna do, there's a couple ways to do it. We can glue this all together. Oops, I'm stepping on my mic cord there. Sorry about that. Hope that wasn't a bunch of scratch scratchy noise for you. So there's a couple of ways we could do this. In the original, we just took the cheesecloth and glued all of it together. Right? And that helps with the staples and kind of holding everything together because you're gluing it all. Or you can just put it in your cover right which my cover's not really big enough now because i made the book too fat i should have put a gusset in there so we're going to do it method number one which is putting the cheesecloth on just gluing it on the back side and then decorating this so that it's not white and i already picked out Oh no, I think I used it. Did I just use it? I did. This was the picture I wanted to use for the cover, so now I don't have a cover picked out. 
Let's see what I got left in here. Oh, this one's pretty. Okay, we're going to use this one. We're going to cut it in half and use it for the cover. Now I need another pretty one for the inside. This is called uh, Nature's uh, Diary. And um, it's by, oh, Dot's Inspiration Shop. So I'll use this uh, for, for this picture and that picture. Okay, it means I'm going to have to break out the paper cutter, which is underneath all of this stuff because I thought I was done slicing papers. Okay, so let's do first things first. Let's put, look how unwrinkly, it's still wavy, it's wrinkling back up to tell you the truth. I ironed it and it was flat, I promise. So, let's see which way, this way is the short way. Okay, the easiest way to do this is to glue, 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 glue. I'm going to put a couple clamps on here. You know what these are? These are for potato chip bags. I got them at the grocery store and I think I paid $5 for six of them. <laughs> I thought, hey, what a good deal. And if you do it a little bit closer to here, you see it holds them together better. There's a staple. It's not really being cooperative. I'm going to try to move that back down in there. There we go. That's better than it was. See, that's why it's not as easy to do with your fingernail as you think. Okay. All right. Moving on. Well, it's a little too close. I don't want to get glue on it. All right, so all we're going to do is we're just going to glue and glue. I hope you can see how much glue I'm putting on here. We're going to glue and glue. And then we're going to glue some more. All right, that's a lot of glue. We're going to smear the glue. As Pam from Paper Outpost would say, we're going to use the finger tool because that is our most advanced piece of equipment. Then you're just going to lay the cheesecloth across here. We're going to trim it after. No, this is the short side. The tricky part is holding it up. So I'm just going to lay the cheesecloth on here. Just like that. All we want to do is keep everything kind of together. Just keep it together. And this is going to be inside of our main cover, so it doesn't matter. We just kind of want something to unify it and give it a smoother spine. Okay. Let me just take our scissors, cut this off. doesn't even have to be straight. You don't want it to stick out too far because remember we still have to attach this to the cover. Okay, so now we've got that. If you want, you can leave this kind of hang out. Ah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Kind of digging it. I wish I'd have had some sticking out the out the top. That would have been kind of cool. Don't forget if you have too much on the back, you can either fold it back upon itself because there's lots of glue on here. 
like this. A lot of times there's enough glue to grab it. Cheesecloth is not, oops, I am off camera. I'm outside the orange lines. I am so sorry. You can just fold it back on itself. I can feel the coolness of the glue, so I'm pretty sure the glue is soaking through and grabbing that second layer. I can undo the clips. It's all glued together. Clipping these back on my light. <laughs> On my lamp. They also have magnets on them because they're for the kitchen. Okay. So we've got that. Now, on the back, mm, you know what I should have done is I should have put this paper on here first. That's why this is called impromptu. <laughs> because normally I would have thought of that. All right, for right now, let's put our flower pin back. Let's move our ironed cheesecloth. I haven't used an iron in 10 years. And our foam and our stapler can be moved out of the way. Remember, here's our original. Now the original, see, just had the cheesecloth. And what I did is, is I took a picture like this, you see, and I cut it in half and that made it almost look like it was one continuous picture. And in this one, the, the paper is a little bit thicker too and it goes to a point, but the uh, booklet doesn't go all the way back to the point. Okay, so let's, uh, let's cut this in half. Which one do I want to use as the cover? Hmm. I think I like this one for the cover. All right. See if I can cut this right down the green line right there. I just put a new blade in too, so I should be good to go. I forgot I didn't buy the titanium ones though. I was like, oh look, these are $2 cheaper. That was because they were not the titanium ones. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the right one. Get it? The right one. That was bad. And we're just going to glue it on here to make it the cover. Now actually, technically, you could probably leave it like this <laughs> and have a nice little booklet. And now see our writing pages are in there. We've got our pocket. There's some writing pages. Where are ours? Did we or did we not put writing pages in? Am I looking at it upside down? I am. Well, it's a good thing I did that then, isn't it? I mean, we're still going to have to do one in the back. But geez, why didn't you guys stop me? I know you saw me doing it. I would have done it upside down. Anyway, here's our writing pages. Here's some more writing pages. Here, there's a pocket in the top. The next one. There's a pocket in the side, or maybe not a pocket on this one. There's a pocket on the side. And these have writing spaces, and you can decorate them if you want. It's just more meant for more of a booklet type one. And personally, um, I would have added another set or two of the writing papers, like maybe one in here and one in here. If I um, hadn't put the cheesecloth on already, I probably could have gotten away with it. Now I'm trying to pull it back a little bit because I need to glue the paper over there. I can always stick the cheesecloth back on. Okay. 
All right, right side up, right side up. Okay. I'm gonna glue this on. I don't do in the middle. This is just paper. And this is Fabri-Tac. So, or Fabri-Fix, which I do believe is the same thing. But if you don't do it in the middle, then you have enough time and the ability, sorry about that, to kind of slide it around a little bit. And you can come back and trim it with a pair of scissors. This isn't quite exactly the same, but it is meant to be just a quick little booklet. That's kind of pretty. Okay, and then we are, we've got our cheesecloth that we might have to draw a little bead of glue and stick it back on. Hmm. Maybe I should trim it some more. I don't know. It's going to be like this. Yeah, we need to trim it. I still kind of like the idea of it sticking out the top. I kind of liked it when it was the idea of sticking out the bottom. These scissors are so sharp it's almost just sliding through the cheesecloth like it would a piece of Christmas wrapping paper. Yeah, that's better. And if it doesn't quite cover this where you glued it on, which mine doesn't because I um, had to pull it back to put this paper on. Now what you're going to do is you're going to make another pocket. So you're going to glue this to the back. But you're only going to glue three sides and that will make one final pocket. All right, you with me? Okay, this time I'm going to glue the paper. Because this is very close in size. Like I said, this was just one I grabbed. And I did start this on my very first live stream. I was doing it with with my friend Elaine Elaine Larkin who I call E that's what it says on my phone when she calls it says E <laughs> okay so now I want to get this lined up this looks like the book is too tall for the cover all right, it's just going to be even. I guess I should have looked at that ahead of time. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm sliding it towards the back because I didn't have it over far enough. I still could use a smidge. I, it's a little too thick. That's what the problem is. So it isn't going to look as nice as the first one because there's nowhere. So what I'm doing now is I'm pulling up on it and then smushing it flat. So it's almost like forcefully putting a gusset in it instead of a flat fold. And then And so all you have left to do is put this picture in here. This must be cut crooked or something. Because this should fit. 
but it is definitely too big. All right, let me mark it. Okay, I'm gonna trim it off. I just scared the dog. He was just hanging out there nice and quiet. Can you see? This is what happens when I say impromptu. I, I did not plan any of this ahead of time. I didn't measure anything. I didn't write anything down. <laughs> if you guys know me, this means I am totally crazed. Totally crazed right now. <laughs> Three alarm fire. Five alarm fire. Okay. Let me double check it. Yeah, that'll fit in there now. Okay. And this just lays flat. There's no pocket. You know, that means I may have to trim the one down for the cover, too. Okay. And we're just going to glue this in here. Make it look all nicey nicey and straighty straighty <laughs> see and it matches that very pretty now if you wanted to print out one more piece of this you could make um, a really nice um, hidden pocket here you know line the papers all up that would be pretty all right so now all we have to do Let's put our picture on the cover and our picture on the back and then we're done. So this was just an impromptu thing I thought I would do. Maybe I will do the pictures. I was going to say have fun doing the cover but okay right side up. See, this is a smidge. I, can't, I usually sit here with a pencil in my mouth, but I can't do that right now, can I? I bet you didn't think I could go this fast either, did you? cloth stuck all over it. I don't know how that happened at all. Cheese cloth of all things. Where would that have come from? <laughs> Oops. I'm gluing it to the table. I didn't mean to. As you all know, this is the film filming side. The other side is not near as nice looking. There's our cover. And I did um, use my computer and shrink down some of the ephemera. So you can see I could make a nameplate out of this. I think this is supposed to be, I think there's actually, there's some smaller ephemera that I made. There is a nameplate, I believe, over here somewhere for it that you could put on there. Um, oh, here they are. Here they are. You could cut one out if you're good with a blade in the center or or if you've got the ability to cut something out and put it right there. And then you could use, um, if you have the right color, this color wouldn't be right, but the darker color like a bronze or whatever of the liquid pearls, you could dot and dot and it would look like you had the uh, rivets on it. Okay. 
Now we'll just uh, turn it over, right side up. Let's see if I need, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to trim this one too if I had to trim the other one, right? It's not like this one's magically shorter. There, now it's magically shorter. <laughs> My tablet keeps making noises, so I'm not sure who's doing what. I don't know if I'm getting emails or little Facebook notifications or what. I don't know. It's making those noises even though I have the volume off, actually. I know when my phone does that, it means that lovely Pinterest is sending me notifications that people have saved my pins. I have like 600 followers on there now. I have, I think, 8,000 pins. <laughs> okay. Right side up. Right side up. And then we put the cover on. And now, you know, I'll do another impromptu one when I get the stuff together, the little pieces together to do the tag. This is a, um, this is just a little matching notebook. Let me put this butterfly on here. And this is a really cool um, flip card cheesecloth. Okay, so that's it. I just wanted to do something real quick. Here's your notebook. You open it up and it looks like this and then you just flip through. There's some writing pages in here. There's places you can write on the others and uh, normally I would have inked the insides of these pages right in here. Um, I use these little finger ones. My new favorite color which is uh, bundled sage. I could probably do that and stick it in there, get the edges so that when you put stuff in and out, um, it's meant to give someone um, a, a thing with, you know, you put an envelope in one and then some stationery in another, you know, or some journaling cards or whatever. And that's all it's used for. And it's just a quick little thing you could do. It would probably take you maybe an hour or so to put this together. So uh, there's your little journal. And uh, I want you to have a happy Saturday and a happy surprise little video. Bye-bye.